Good evening and thanks for joining us. A key member of the Harper government is calling it quits. Peter McKay, the justice minister, has been in politics for 17 years. He served many roles, even sought the leadership of the party at one point. Prime Minister Stephen Harper was at his side today when McKay made the announcement in his Nova Scotia riding. And our Ross Lord is there tonight. Ross? Well, Donna, Harper's uh, appearance here is interesting, and McKay's departure announcement is interesting too, especially considering that he had indicated he was underway for the upcoming election. As for the reason for this sudden change of heart, his explanation is a familiar one, family. A part of me regrets that I will not be in the fray of the upcoming election, but I remain, I promise you, Prime Minister, side by side with you and my colleagues, still competitive, always passionate about politics, but now in a different role. I love what I do, and I love the opportunities that it afforded me to help others, but simply put, I love my family more. Political analysts say this will hurt the Conservatives. His seat is considered the safest in Atlantic Canada. In fact, between Peter McKay and his father, Elmer McKay, they've had a family dynasty here for the best part of the last 50 years. As far as people here in the riding today, this news is a bit unnerving. Hopefully he has you know, some influence still in politics. I'm sure he will, and uh, whatever he does after politics, maybe you know, Pictou County will be on the forefront of his mind. I looked after the county a bit, and his father did too. What difference do you think it'll make not having a McKay here? <laughs> <laughs> There's always somebody else. <laughs> but who will that somebody else be? We're really not sure because the Liberal candidate in the riding also just announced that he's resigning. He says he has personal reasons that he won't divulge, also saying he's only running to defeat Peter McKay, and now that McKay is out, there's no reason for him to continue. It's been a strange day for politics here in this part of Canada, Donna. Sure has. Ross Lord, thanks.